I'm Luis Chiape and I'm the director of the Dinosaur Institute here at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. The specimen essentially is part of our marine area here at the Dinosaur Hall. One of the um, one of the things we want to cover and talk about in this gallery is the world in which the dinosaurs live and also the world in which, or a portion of the world in which they didn't live. Dinosaurs live essentially on land. Plesiosaurs are not dinosaurs and they were marine animals that swam the ancient seas when dinosaurs were ruling the earth. And for that reason, we decided that we want to showcase some of our spectacular marine collection or Mesozoic marine collection and this is one of those unique and remarkable specimens. This specimen was collected in the late 80s and for a while it remains in a warehouse of the museum and I decided about three or four years ago that it was such an important specimen, both scientifically and potentially very beautiful, that we wanted to include in the new gallery. It took several years of conservation work, essentially preparing and cleaning the bones, as well as putting all the different parts together into this plaque that we see here. When it became very clear that this was a very important scientific specimen, I contacted uh, Dr. O'Keefe Robin, who is a plesiosaur expert, and essentially asked him to uh, lead the research on the specimen. Uh, my name is Frank Robin O'Keefe, and I am an associate professor in the Department of Biological Sciences at Marshall University in West Virginia. This fossil is unique. Uh, there is only one pregnant plesiosaur in the whole world, and it's here in LA you can come see it in the museum here in LA. So in that sense, it's spectacular, scientifically. But it's also just a spectacular rock, it's a spectacular fossil. Well, like all vertebrate paleontologists, I got into this business because I love looking at fossils. I've loved fossils ever since I was a little kid. Um, but after a while, you stare at a lot of fossils and you tend to get jaded a little bit. Um, but this was one of those fossils that brought me back to that kid level fascination, that excitement, because it really is absolutely spectacular. Um, it's a big, complete animal, as you can see, and also it's pregnant, so it's absolutely unique. And uh, for the first half hour or 45 minutes, when I first saw the fossil pre uh, prepared out, I just walked around it and was blown away. I couldn't even kind of settle down enough to, to sit down and actually get to work. Sure, in terms of what you're looking at, uh, this is a plesiosaur, and so if we go over to the head end, that's right here. Now it's important to note that in this fossil, the head and most of the neck was not actually preserved. So we had to go in and for the purposes of mounting this specimen for display, we had to have a head constructed and then this part of the neck was constructed as well. However, everything posterior to about this point is real fossil material. And as you can see, the animal is large and it's very complete. And those are two really good things when you look at any dinosaur fossil or marine reptile fossil. Um, what we're looking at here, these kind of funny shaped bones here and here, those are the coracoids. And those are actual shoulder bones. So these are the shoulder girdles here of the large plesiosaur. This is the right forelimb here and the left forelimb down here. And then obviously we've got the backbone running all the way down like this, past the hips, and out to the tip of the tail. Here are the hind limbs, the femora, here and here. So that's the adult, pieces of the adult that I just pointed out. Now the really great and fascinating thing about this specimen and what makes it unique is that it's pregnant. So we also have another individual in this fossil. And if you look right here, see some little pancake-shaped irregular bones. That is actually the pelvis of the baby plesiosaur. And as you can see, it's very much smaller than the pelvis of the adult over here. Now spilling down out of the adult body cavity, you can see a lot more bones that belong to the baby. They're all mingled together with finger bones from mommy here. But we have vertebrae, 
pieces of the shoulder girdle. We have a femur, uh, two humeri, which are arm bones, and uh, lots of ribs and gastralia, which are our belly ribs. So we have a good percentage, I would say 60 to 65% of the uh, baby plesiosaur here as well.